Hey guys, uh, so today what I wanted to do was walk you through how I edit my photos in Lightroom. And I'll start with the very first step, which is importing the photos into my library. So I have a folder that I usually copy the pictures that look uh, good to me. And what I do is those automatically get selected and all you have to do is select import. So these are all the photos that I'm going to uh, be developing today. So now they are in my library. You can see that these are all the pictures that I have uh, in my library, which I've imported. Some of them I've already edited. And since we're just going to be working on what I did today, um, I'm just going to select the first picture here and then click develop. So <clears throat> one of the first things I always do is click soft proofing. That way it's against the white background and it's easy to tell um, if the white balance is off or not. Since I use my iPhone and then also I have a artificial light which runs a little bit cool, meaning that it's, it's a little bit blue. I generally adjust the temperature up so that it's warmer. So blue is cooler, warm uh, yellow is warmer. So I usually do a plus two or plus three. And <clears throat> you can tell that if you're doing it too much in either way, the white, if this is a white uh, bowl, it'll turn yellow or it'll turn blue. So watch, if I do it to like 40, see it turns very yellow, if I do it to minus 40 it'll be very blue so usually i just make a, mi a minor adjustment there um plus two or plus three <clears throat> and then the tinting um portion i do not touch so after you start making these modifications it'll always ask you if you want to create a virtual cop copy i always click make this approved um, you can always select that it doesn't show up um, but i just i leave it this way so I always make it approved, and then the next thing that I go and adjust is the exposure. <clears throat> Usually, um, I don't have to adjust this too much because my artificial light is very bright, but if I'm shooting with natural light, say by a window, for example, sometimes I'll need to adjust the exposure a little bit. <clears throat> so I use the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard um, generally, I go up, and so you can see that this is a little bit uh, overexposed. The colors look kind of washed out. So um, if you go in the other spectrum, you see how it turns very dark, and so that's in the negative uh, negative scale. So I'm going to go back up to zero. This is how it was naturally when I took the photo. I think I'll leave it at uh, plus 20 so that you can see the the beans a little bit better. Um, contrast, I usually stick to plus 10, um, plus 15 at the most. Occasionally, I will leave it at zero, uh, depending on how the photo the photo looks. So I'll show you what happens when you adjust the contrast. The negative 20, for example, it gets a little bit washed out. going back to zero and then going to 10 gives you a little bit a little bit darker of a color in the soup go to 30 it gets very very dark and it looks looks kind of funny to me so I think I'll leave it at 10 and once you're done with that if you like the way that it looks um, for me these are really the only three parameters that I'm adjusting when I'm making my photos. And I've had a pretty good um, results, I think. Um, so when, once you're satisfied with your photo, uh, you just go to File, Export. And I already have a, a folder that I put all of my touched up photos into. And then you just hit Export. And then that's it. So when you're uh, ready to move on to the next photo, you can just hit your keyboard arrow key, um, right or left. 
and that takes you to the next the next picture that you imported. I'm gonna skip this. This is my funny looking bread. Um, <clears throat> this is another bean dish that I made. So let's go ahead and touch this one up. So. Leave that at plus plus two. Make this a proof. And adjust the exposure a little bit. Plus plus three looks good to me. Contrast, just touch up a little bit at plus ten. And I think I think this one's good too. So I'll go ahead and export it. And then move on to the next photo. So this is a uh, a farro salad with smoked uh, mackerel and beets. So you can tell this is on a different background. So this is like a a stone countertop, and it looks a little bit uh, dark, um, even though I have a light right over here. So what I'm going to do, you can tell this is also sort of a blue tint. So I'm going to increase the temperature a little bit and try to make it look whiter. And then exposure, increase this just a little bit also, make everything look brighter. Um, and then contrast, let's see how it looks at 10. 20. 20 looks a little bit too much. So maybe 15. And I think that's all I'll do here. This one looks okay. 